Okay, now we're going to talk about the role hierarchy. The role hierarchy is a hierarchical structure that you set up in Salesforce. It's one of the first things that you do. Um, sometimes you don't need a role hierarchy. If everything is read, public read, write, then I would say keep, keep your role hierarchy blank because then you've always got the opportunity to readdress that in the future if your needs change. Always align your hierarchy to your organization's sharing requirements. Don't be tempted to turn it into an org chart. It's not an org chart. If you want to build an org chart, you can always create contacts and you can use users and you can use the manager field to create an org chart in your org. Do not use Salesforce role hierarchies to do it. Let's have a look at what we do here with the roles. So we can find it in the setup menu under users and roles. And we set up some roles. Now you can see here that I've created, we've got a couple of um, roles here. So we've got the sales uh, rolling up into CEO and we can add a new role that reports into that CEO. So we're going to create one for customer service VP. Yeah. This is usually kind of a one time setup thing. You shouldn't be actively changing your role hierarchy all the time. Then you assign a user to that role. As she's doing here. And we can also add sub roles directly from that as well. So we've got the VP of customer service. Now we can create a customer service manager that rolls into that VP role. And we can assign users to that role. Let's see what she's doing now. <laughs> so yeah, that's always annoying. You always click do not show that page and it just ignores you anyway. So we can add more and more as we go and just start to build up. So we, in reporting to the service manager, we've got the agents. Now, this is aligned to sharing requirements because um, from the VP of customer service, they're gonna need to see the metrics that are produced from all the cases that we, that we manage. And in terms of adding those users and change and, and update, so we're putting Bruce into the role of customer service, and then we're gonna put some people underneath, but Bruce is gonna have access to all of the cases that belong to the people in his team. But what it also means is that we can make cases, um, we can actually create some, some privacy around those cases within the teams that report to that VP of customer service because we set up those roles. 